Greetings, Earthling. I'm Bubbles Love, Christie's super liberal, airy baby lovality. I share with her all of my logic, academic interests, and analytical proficiency. And I think I make her curious to learn new things and experiment with new thoughts. <laughs> I'm kind of the one who initiates all of Christie's friendships. And I try to motivate her to, you know, be less judgmental and more open to new things and whatnot. Plus, I motivate her to change and I help her articulate her thoughts clearly. And also, I help her find stuff whenever she's researching something. And I just like to kind of watch and study things and learn and discuss. And, you know, I don't like to fight. I don't like fighting. Sparkle likes to fight, you know, just for fun. And Jewel is a strong fighter when she has to be. But I just like to kind of sit back in my crib and just sort of learn. I'll play a video game. Hmm. Sometimes I can, you know, give Christy indecisiveness. Because I always ask her to ask a lot of questions. Because I ask a lot of questions. Because I want to know everything. You know? And I often see everything as a viable option. You know? The sky's kind of the limit. You know? So, I do sometimes confuse her. Um, because I think she likes to be more sure of herself. And I kind of make her second guess and rethink everything she ever says or does and I think that annoys her <laughs> but I also try to get inside everyone's heads and I'm you know I want to see what makes people tick you know because learning is everything everything I don't know I'm the one who got Christy into psychology sociology astrology and anything with an ology on it Basically, I'm responsible for that. I'm very proud of myself for that. Like, all of the, her knowledge and scientific studies, that's, was, that's all me. That was me. I did that. Yeah. And I'm also the best team player out of everyone, I think, because I don't have any baggage or prejudices or emotional outbursts or emotional connection. And I'm very logical and mental. I think more people should be that way. You know, feelings are overrated, in my opinion. You know, oh yeah, my favorite color is sapphire blue. My favorite season is winter because I like cold weather. And my favorite sign is Aquarius. I'm not good with close relationships, but I am great at maintaining lots of acquaintances who think they're my friends. And I always think of them as my friends too, but Desiree keeps telling me they're just acquaintances. So maybe I should like change my views on that since she does bring up some very valid points about relationships. I've got to hand it to her. She knows her stuff on that. Anyway, I wish Christy would, you know, be more experimental like me, you know, but I think I'm only her like third favorite lovality. She does sometimes complain that I'm kind of fragmented and flaky and all over the place, you know. Sometimes she doesn't know where I am. <clears throat> Because I'm always floating to new places in her mind and studying life. So I just sometimes like, you know, just kind of just randomly just disappear from our love sessions without even saying a word. I just I just abruptly vanish right in the middle of sin. Right in the middle of a sentence, you know, it's kind of weird. Like, I don't know what she's talking about because as far as I'm concerned, you know, we just continue the same conversation and nothing changed. But with, with her, she's always saying how, like, you know, I was talking to you and you just disappeared. Where'd you go? And I'm just kind of like, I was here the whole time. And, like, I don't know what she's talking about, you know. She's like, oh, you're quiet for these just random moments and, like, you don't talk. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? I was talking this whole time and like, you know, I just, you know, I was floating around, but I was here and she's like, no, you were just silent and it was weird and creepy. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I don't understand what she's saying because I'm totally here all the time. I don't know why she calls me fragmented, but I guess I can see her point, you know, even if I don't see it, she sees it. So that must mean, you know, it's there. And if it's not there, then I should still just respect her opinion about it, you know, but that's, that's me. So, but anyway, as I was saying, I like to 